Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Jack here, and welcome back to my ongoing video series all about the upcoming Korean MMORPG, Arc Age. This week, we're taking a look at farming, everything you want to know about this really impressive, massive part of the game that actually has nothing to do with combat. What a strange concept for an MMO. It's refreshing to see a core part of an MMO have nothing to do with combat. Player housing has been a part of many MMORPGs, but this is one of the very few to have a full-on farming system. Farming is one of the basic ways to get crafted supplies, materials, and ingredients for almost every non-combat profession. From the lumber your mighty sailing vessels built out of, to the clothing on your back, the food the chefs make, or the potion ingredients for the alchemists, even the weapons and armor crafters need items that farmers produce. Without farming, you'd be out of a job naked and armed with a little more than a rock. Farming is actually broken down into three separate skill sets. Farming, which has a focus on small plants and growing crops. Ranching, also known as animal husbandry, which has a focus on raising animals for milk, meat, and other animal-related stuff. And finally, logging, planting, growing, and chopping trees down for lumber. Starting up Arc Age for the first time, you'll be taken through some basic MMO quest lines. Go here, kill 10 of these, take this to there. But after about an hour, you'll make your way to your first real town where a quest giver will have a new symbol over his head, a green leaf. These types of quest givers are all about the non-combat quests, trading, farming, mining, blacksmithing, etc. Here, you'll be given a simple tutorial on how to grow crops through a short quest line, which will eventually lead you to your very first farm. Eventually, this quest line will give you access to a donkey and upgrade you to a large farm. So planting your crops is fairly easy. Just head on over to a seed merchant and buy the seeds you need. Right click the seed in your backpack and click where you want to place them. You can plant them anywhere in the world just about, but if you put them outside of a protective area like say your personal farm or a public farm, then anyone can dig them up. Now this in Arc Age is considered a crime. Uprooting is probably considered the worst of crimes in the game right now because there's no good gameplay reason for it. If you've committed enough crimes on your death, you'll be sent to trial by a jury of other players, your peers. With the trial being broadcast in an open chat room, there is no good in-game reason to uproot a plant in the game. Unlike murder, which could have actual gameplay benefits, uprooting or pulling up plants that are already ready to harvest means you're just a jerk and will probably get the max sentence by your jury. Which is pretty hilarious to think about. Murder, uh, okay, I kind of get why you did that. You uprooted a cherry tree, you bastard. The hardest part of farming, in my opinion, is picking out what you want to grow. Hitting O on your keyboard will allow you to browse through all the different items that can be crafted based on the different skills. This will help you pick what you want to grow to figure out what you want to produce. Also, things to keep in mind are the climate that you're currently growing in. Each plant will grow faster if planted in the appropriate climate that's suitable for it. You can find this out on the description for the plant. The amount of time you want the plant to take to grow. So for example, planting saplings. If I know I'm not going to play Arc Age for like two days, I'm going to want to grow a plant or a tree that'll take around two days to fully mature. The rule of thumb is the longer it takes for a tree to grow, the more lumber that you'll get for it. Also, local trade routes are something to consider if you're a trader. Asking your guild what kind of trade routes they like to do, what convoys they've got going on, could be something you might want to consider so you have the supplies ready when the guild goes to do the massive trade run. The best trade runs are in hostile territory, so it's a good thing to go with a group. As your farming skills grow, you'll eventually want a larger farm. Filling a large farm in the traditional way of planting the individual seeds can take a very long time. Luckily, there's an item in the game called a farming workbench, which once constructed using some wood and your small farm deed will allow for the creation of seed packs. Packs of seeds that take a little longer to grow and take up more space, but produce a larger quantity of produce when you harvest them. They also give you worms for fishing. It even lets you make chicken coops and other various farming items. So the basics of farming works like this. You buy the seeds, you plant it, you water it if you want to decrease the total time it takes to grow. After an allotted amount of time, the tree or bush or whatever will mature. If you don't collect your farm in time, it'll turn into a wilted plant that needs fertilizer before you'll be able to actually harvest it. And if even more time passes, the plant will die. When you harvest your crops, you'll have a small chance to get a rare version of the crop. So for example, barley can sometimes give you a valuable golden barley. Strawberries can give you a shiny giant strawberry. These rare materials are used to craft rare trade packs, potions, and a variety of other items. 
As your skill in farming, logging, and husbandry improve, so will the chances of finding this valuable stuff. One quick way to boost your skill is to do the farming quest lines that are available. For each quest you complete, you'll be given a set item that gives you a boost to your farming skill, giving you a full set of clothing for when you want to get out there and just do a little farming. Another quick way to maximize your farming is to build a farmhouse, which will give you even more farming space than a large farm has. This is me and Tabby's farm, with our large farms planted out front. It's giving us lots of farming space. We can grow just about everything we need. The farmhouse also comes with a well to collect water and a fireplace you can set as a recall point. One cool thing we just figured out recently, if you build a bed and log out sleeping in it, when you log in, you'll wake up and be given a boost to your farming speed for the next 12 hours or until you enter combat. Growing crops is just one small part that makes up the economy of Arc Age. Next week, we're gonna dive into a larger picture and look at how the economy functions in Arc Age as a whole. So what do you guys think of this game taking the time to make an in-depth system that's outside of just combat and questing? Personally, I love it. I think it makes the game world feel more alive and gives us more options and more variety in our gameplay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And that's it for farming. Kind of a broad overview, but the system is really fun. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.